Good morning, everybody. It's Randy with Randy's RV Bible Study. I'm not going to do a... I'm going to get back into Acts later. I am uh, having to drive to uh, Palmetto, Florida today to teach. I'm up early. I mean, this is early for me, but I'm in God's Word today and uh, just putting some notes together for uh, this thing that I do up in Palmetto. I've been asked to teach up there, so it's a blessing, a blessing, a blessing. But but I want to uh, put out a, a quick video here. You know, Romans 6, 14. And uh, the Bible says that uh, sin, sin will no longer have dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. Uh, when we read that, I think that the, uh, especially the United States of American church, our country, this one, uh, has uh, taken that to extremes that the Bible's not saying. Uh, what do you mean by that, Randy? Well, because <clears throat> it goes on to say, what then, question mark, shall we sin? Because we're not under law, but under grace, question mark. And then the answer is certainly not. And this is where we see the modern day church headed in the Christian. And I'm just here to remind you that as Christians, we're really not to be living a life of sin. But you say, well, Randy... Everybody sins. You're absolutely right. Uh, all have fallen short of the glory of God. And everybody is a sinner. Yes. And everybody, even Christians, sin. But there is a defining line between living, practicing sin. Living in your natural state in other words you 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 have had no change at all in the heart you you, you see no difference in your life from all all you said intellectually is that i believe in jesus christ or you've even maybe gotten baptized i've accepted jesus christ as my savior but you haven't accepted him as your lord so living this is living under grace this is this is the the great the grace uh, we have a grace gospel <laughs> that's being preached and, and I'm, I'm telling you that's that's not <clears throat> that's not what Jesus is saying that's not why Jesus died for you to continue your life of sin well well then Randy then you're living by the law not not at all now you're living under grace when you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and I mean your Lord so he's Lord over your mouth he's Lord over your heart he's Lord over your mind you, you don't continue to pursue a lifestyle of sin you won't find that anywhere in the Bible and I challenge you if that's something that you're doing today, if that's something that you're uh, professing to uh, to me today, then that's not a converted lifestyle. That's not a regenerated heart. That that is that is uh, you're breaking the second commandment. You're making Jesus out whom you want to be. No, my friend, what has happened instead is because you've accepted Christ. You've been born again. Jesus says you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus says you must repent over and throughout the Bible. That message is clear. In fact, Jesus said, if you do not repent, likewise, you too will perish, which means you'll be destroyed. And so, and, and that's a hard message. I get it. And how are we going to live when our natural bent is sin, how are we going to, this is a supernatural thing. That's what you need the Holy Spirit for. That's why you need to be born again. See, folks, you and I are spiritually dead. That's why in our natural state, we just do what the Bible says. We, uh, we drink 
sin like it was water. We drink iniquity like it was water. We love to sin. We're bent that way. And uh, sin is manifested in all kinds of uh, in all kinds of forms, sexual immorality. Well, f wow, are we living in that day? Uh, this seems to be, and especially in the United States of America, sexual immorality is celebrated and running amok, running pervasive. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 there's nothing more that I can say that, you, that if that's what you want to live, you have a choice to live that. But that's not a Christian life. And uh, so repentance is the Christian life. Repentance is turning towards God. You're asking for forgiveness. Now here's, here's the salvation message. And here's the Christian message. It is this simple, yet it's complex. And I understand. And it is hard to understand. Because you, you get this grace. Well, we got grace. You got grace. You got grace. You got grace. Does it mean... I mean, Jesus Christ died for your sins. So what part of that allows you to continue to sin? You see, our natural state without the Spirit of God living inside of us, that's our natural state. That's the natural man. We live in the flesh. We don't have an active spirit because our spirit is we don't have Jesus Christ as we're dead spiritually. Uh, you might say, "Well, I'm spiritual." <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not in the spirit of God. You're living a life of flesh, and folks, it's easy to do. It's easy to live a life of flesh because that's the natural man, the carnal man. We love to sin. We'll make excuses for it all day long. We'll justify it. I know because, how do I know? Because I live that way too. And, uh, you know, living under God's grace, we have to, we have to really be careful because if our heart is not right before the Lord, it, it, our religion is vain. Now, it is possible for a man to continue under the power of sin. In fact, the Bible talks about sin as a, the power of sin, an entanglement, an ensnarement, and we're actually bound to it like as if chains. Remember that old saying, Oh, what a tangle web we weave once we practice to deceive. Because that's what it is. Once you, once you are in sin, you are bound by sin, and Satan has control over your life. In other words, who is your father? Is it God? Because God doesn't call us to sin. No, folks, we are to put on godliness. We are to, uh, there is much wicked in the heart. But my heart's good. No, not naturally, it's not good. <laughs> you need the Holy Spirit. And it, it's a difficult message, I understand. But you must repent. You must repent or you will perish. And uh, if you need help understanding that more, uh, I'll, you can write me at Randy's RV, Randy's RV Bible at gmail.com. Randy's RV Bible at gmail.com. I can help you with maybe the decision to walk with the Lord. Um, maybe in understanding these things, maybe you've thought uh, this was, you know, I accepted Jesus Christ, but my life's a mess still. And uh, not that you're not going to have trials in this life. But, uh, you know, that's another uh, false assumption that life is just going to be rosy and good. No, in fact, you very well may have persecution and more trials come your way. Because that's what the Bible talks about. You're not going to be a friend of the world and a friend of of God. You can't, you can't have both. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta go to the Canadians. Listen, I try to have a sense of humor about these things. And I know this is heavy, but you must repent. You must. Jesus says, why do you, why do you call me Lord when you don't do what I say? 
In Revelation, uh, Jesus says, uh, depart from me, I, I never knew you. And people are calling him Lord. Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we heal? Didn't we, I mean, if the heart's not right, Jesus saved you from from sin, not to sin. So, and that that's what I'm getting to. Anyways, if you need help with a decision to follow Jesus Christ, you need to understand more about that. In our this culture, this uh, this world is uh, deceiving people. We are living in times of, of uh, great uh, great deception. Uh, listening to Jack Hibbs talk about his his book, we in the days of deception. Uh, Jesus Christ is being preached falsely. The false Christ are here. The apostate church is here, uh, and uh, we are living in perilous end days time. So that's why I'm here on YouTube to help you uh, turn to Jesus Christ uh, before it's too late. I mean, yeah, it could be end days. Could be the end days for you today. You don't know when your life is going to end. So, and I don't either. And uh, uh, by the grace of God, we're living each day. And I'm here uh, living each day with you today. So, while it is today, today's the day of your salvation. Let me help you if you need help with that. Write me. Write me if you're dealing with depression. Write me if you're dealing with anxiety. Write me if you're going through toxic relationships. Write me if you think you're suffering, especially in toxic relationships, if you're suffering from codependency and you need to know more about that. Uh, I can help. I can coach you. I'm not a licensed uh, counselor, professional, but I definitely can counsel you in biblical truth. I definitely can do that. We can break open the Bible. Now, if it, it gets to be a point that, you know, you need... More help, professional help in the Southwest Florida area. I have many resources uh, that, and many people that I have worked with personally and people that I know that I could steer you to. In a biblical context, you will get a biblical worldview and not, not this erroneous world system. Listen, there's such a difference. I want you to know the Lord today. And I want you to be saved and your name be found in the book of life. It, it won't be found in the book of life unless you, I have family members that aren't going to go to heaven. Why? Because they, well, how do you know? You should know them by their fruits. Well, it's, it's a repentance. It's a, uh, it's a sad thing to watch. Uh, Jesus didn't come here to uniform everybody. It's, it's an offensive message. If you're listening today, you might be offended by what I'm saying because you're, you're naturally bent towards living a life of sin. So, there be it. If you want a regenerated heart and you want to know what that's all about, give me a shout. Uh, uh, today's the day for salvation. Uh, let's get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Let me help you do that. Uh, why? Do, because I love you. And uh, Jesus calls us to love one another. And I love you. And more importantly, Jesus Christ loved you to death. God bless you. And uh, I hope to be able to make another video tomorrow, Lord willing. But uh, as we see the day approaching, today could be the could day be could it be the rapture today? Sure could. And uh, no, you don't want to be left behind. Uh, despite all the movies, you you don't want to be uh, left behind. That's not a tri tribulation and the great deception and uh, the lawless man and just everything we could talk about there. You just do not want to miss the rapture of the church. All right. Well, until later. I love you. Again, take care. God bless.